Houston, where are you? Tools? Is there a guy in tools? TV host on aisle 40. Josh Temple is crashing Houston, Texas. This is my first day in Houston. But he's got a problem. Come on, Houston, where is everybody? We have a problem, Houston, I have to say it. He needs to make some new friends. Well, what do you do? You want to wreck my whole home? Uh huh. One lucky couple will have their DIY disaster solved when they get a new living and dining room with a custom ceiling, new fireplace, dining room table, and more, and it's all free. Houston must have something better to do. Got any work for me? Professional contractor Josh Temple stakes out home improvement stores. What are you looking for? Looking for do-it-yourselfers who need an extra hand from a pro. I really need your help. What they don't know is he's going to transform their simple project into a total home improvement makeover. Sweet. It's like winning the remodel lottery. I love it. This is a house crash. Am I smooth? You're like really fun and I'm developing a crush on you. Yeah, oh yeah, you're real Okay, cool. so you've seen the show. Yeah. I'm a contractor. Okay. You wanna hire me? Nah, I never hire a contractor. No plans for the house, you're, you're all dialed in. You're on the phone and driving. I know. In California, that's illegal. I'm trying to find some work here. I'm striking out. You the man that does the show. Exactly. Oh man, you a, man, you a pimp. <laughs> uh, house crashers, you ever seen house crashers? No sir, I like, uh, what else do I watch? Look, they're very intense. It's almost like it's calling them. Um, do you mind? What are we doing, guys? We kind of ripped the wallpaper off, and we ripped a little bit too much off. You took some of... drywall off. I think. Is that what that stuff's called? Yeah. OK. <laughs> is that what that stuff's called? OK, who did the ripping? Um, he told me to do it. Explain the house to me. Describe the house. First thing you're going to notice is like a velvet red burgundy uh, carpet. Like carpet. Do you like carpet? No. no. We've been saving our money, and what we wanted to do was get the walls done first, and then the floor. So what are you going to do to get started? <laughs> well, we don't really the... know. Yeah. <laughs> we think... You guys are willing to do the work, but are you handy people? No. <laughs> so you, you have a lot of problems with your living room. Yes. You need someone to tell you what to do, and you need a contractor. That yeah, sounds about right. How about if I go look at it? It seems like you would know more than we know. So let's go. Come on. We're desperate, we really are. We did a lot of damage. <laughs> go, 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 go. Come to Texas, enjoy the weather. <laughs> Holy crap, what did you do? You tore it all down. That's right. Yeah. This was the yes. wallpaper right here. The walls have been like this for about five months. Five months? This is terrible. I know. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> all you right. do? I can do whatever I want. Oh my God. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a sunroom. Oh my god, let's go look at that. Dude, you're getting cold air right around here. I can literally feel the breeze. Right. Can if you? I couldn't do wallpaper yeah, it's right, a, you it's, think? It's a good Come point. on. It's a good point. And we don't know how to do anything. Right. <laughs> we need a teacher. <laughs> We're gonna start by learning how to read a tape measure. So, like that's 12 inches or one foot. You just went there, didn't you? <laughs> I like modern fireplaces. Oh, oh, we're straight to style. I love this. What's that thing? I don't, the house came with it. Well, you know what? It's a dust collector is what it is. Just get rid of it. I don't know what to do with it. We like light, the light fixtures almost to be like art pieces. It's like kind of like hallucinogenic. It'll be on Craigslist <laughs> later this week if you'd like. The dining room and the living room are like connected as one, but what we were thinking is maybe putting something that kind of like separated it a little bit. I love the way you're thinking. Okay, here's the deal. I'm coming back, and I'm gonna bring friends, I'm gonna bring tools, I'm gonna bring materials, and I'm gonna bring a plan. Once we show up, you gotta do what I say. Sounds good. All right, guys, <laughs> I'll see you later. All, All right. right, bye. It's kinda nice to be surprised. It's gonna be better than it was before. Whoa, here we go. Crashing Houston style. What the heck? You guys got an army. Dude, what's up with all the trucks? My neighbors are gonna be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when I go to Texas, I go big. And I got Lucas Craftsmanship Inc. right here. Are you guys ready to work? We are so ready to work. All right, let's go. Let's get inside, it's gonna rain. This room is just ridiculous. This is a big room, so we need to define areas, right? Give you a place to entertain, cook, eat. Ready for the design? Yes. yes. Come on. 
Oh my gosh. We're gonna do something with this high ceiling. We're gonna drop some parts, give it some texture. All of this stuff is gonna be built Mm -hmm. And we're gonna throw lights all over it. So you're gonna have lights because you don't have a light no. in this room. Fireplace. Fire. Notice that back wall? That's this wall here, guys. Where the windows go? Where the windows go? <laughs> They're all gone. We're gonna make this pass through. We're gonna change that silly door to over here. This goes away. We are not gonna use this carpet, believe it or not. Right. Yes. Oh New hardwood floor for the whole area. Am I missing anything, guys? No, you can say it out loud. The dining room table. <laughs> <laughs> a very trick dining room table, right, yeah. Stephen? Yeah. Whole thing, brand new, three days. Are we ready? Yeah. Yes. All right, grab the two pieces of furniture out. Let's start demo. <laughs> there we go. Nice. What? Oh. Yeah. Take this and put it through that TV. Now you're Elvis, baby! Death to TV! Oh, wait, 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 wait. We like TV. We might not be able to save these windows. And if you're not gonna save a window... I see where you're going with this. I've you're... watched the show before. I know that they're big on throwing items through windows. I was just hoping I would get my turn. Out with the ugly. Breathe harder. Oh, Breathe harder. my God. You got that? Got it. Thanks, guys. I really... See, that's all you gotta do. You're a pro at this, I'm man. I'm a pro. <laughs> With demo complete, it's time to start framing. Are you gonna shoot some nail gun? Sure. Awesome. <laughs> First, the ceiling cove. I like this. Keep going, then. There we go. Then, the new bedroom doorway. Hammer that thing right in the middle. Yeah, there you go. You've got a new doorway. Next, Stephanie learns how to anchor two by fours into concrete for the new fireplace. You have to yell. Yeah, fire in the hole. It's really loud. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Before Stephanie, yell it first, then pull the trigger. Fire in the hole. There you go. Fire away. Beauty. <laughs> they construct two low pony walls, creating an enclosure for the fire burners. So we'll run our two by fours down about four and a half inches. Set a piece of plywood on there. We're good to go. Build this, build that. They don't mess around. Coming up. Honey, they're picking on me. No. More lessons with power tools. Some people say that you, you, know, you define your manhood by your nail gun. The secret bedroom door. We are talented people. And a custom drop down ceiling. Thank goodness this happened. We are really lucky. Yesterday, James and Stephanie Dominguez agreed to take licensed contractor Josh Temple home. Only our close friends get to see the house in the state it is. And he's glad they did. You've been living in this house with this room for five months? Wow! They got crashed. Gentlemen, get your tools! The room was demolished. Crash! And now they're rebuilding like mad. Crazy in there, it's pandemonium. No, I'm not intimidating. Sorry, Josh. Right. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Prep work for the ceiling panels begins. We're gonna change the uh, HVAC ducts, so we're gonna center it between our two panels. That sounds like a plan. Let's go. How's that? That's good. Whoa, whoa. Mm. Uh oh. That's okay. That was just a. It was just a board. It was I just stepped a, off of it before. Exactly. Stay on the joints. <laughs> Next, Josh and Steven Lucas install a special new bedroom door. So the drywall bumps in. There's no casing so that it's, it's flush with the wall. It's kind of like a secret door. You can do like a push latch, kind of like a cabinet latch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where you push in the door, pops out. Come down a little bit. Can I rub the belly? Yeah. <laughs> this is a little awkward. I'm trying to make a joke out of a very awkward situation. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, You've gone spot. too far. Meanwhile, the crew has begun drywalling, and it's time for baseboards. It's time to install some baseboard. Okay. It's a little weird to be doing it now before we're at, we actually put drywall on the wall, but there's a reason for that, and Danny holds that reason. We're gonna have the drywall come down and sit on top of the channel okay. of, the, uh, of the baseboard. 
Clear your speed, sir. She's gonna pull that number and she's gonna make that cut, right, Danny? You're the boss, you oh, got it. Okay, good. I would say 63 inches. 63 inches? <laughs> Six, that's gonna be two inches too long. It's, I'd say 68. 68? <laughs> Look where 68 is. Danny, let us go cut it. All right, come on. 68 it is, let's go. <laughs> no. Come on. We go 68. I'm on my mark, how are you? Uh-oh, I'm way off. <laughs> After Stephanie gets a redo. It's perfect. Up, make it flush. They nail a J channel to the baseboards to hold the drywall. I'm gonna get a nail gun. I just like it. Hey, you did a pretty good job there, killer. Thanks. A little ninja carpentry. A little accident with a bucket. Aye. And a pretty tired crew. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Means it's quitting time. I'm pretty spent, pretty tired. I'm not looking forward to the homework, but it's gotta get done. You've got about two hours to wait before you paint the ceiling. And you guys gotta paint all that baseboard we just put in. All right, sure. I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck, suckers. <laughs> I'm pretty exhausted, but excited for tomorrow. This morning, uh, my arms felt like jello. Hey, day two, and you guys are already working. We got a lot to do, right? Big order of the day is the ceiling treatment, right? We're gonna be working up here all day. Everybody down, let's start building. Outside, they start work on the first ceiling panel. Just dropped a jigsaw blade in here. I'm learning as I go. I feel more comfortable with power tools for sure. They cut a 16 inch square hole into a three quarter inch sheet of MDF and it's gonna just butt up against the ceiling as a spacer. And attach a frame to expose the can light in the ceiling. No, I, but most of, <laughs> something's wrong. <laughs> Mike, I got a bad mic. Uh -oh. we, we, got a, we got a replacement audio guy. There is nothing wrong with this audio. <laughs> <laughs> Picked it up, dude. <laughs> this is probably the trickiest part of this. Kind of literally holding up the ceiling right now. Josh has been great. You never have any questions because he's pretty good about explaining everything. You're starting to catch your wife on the nail gun skills. Now I'm making you do trick shots, left-handed around the host. <laughs> now he's like closing an eye, he's like, How are the shoulders? Good. You have to ask me again at the end of the day. Three more. All right. Exactly. <laughs> Three more. Good job. All right, let's go. Stephanie and Steven Lucas move on to the fireplace. Now we're going to start facing it with the cement board that Carlos pre-cut for us. We have the inch and seven eighths coil gun, which is made specially for this. This will go right through cement, huh? You got it. Awesome. Next, the stone veneer. And drum roll. What do you think? It looks a little rustic. A little rustic? Yeah. Once we enhance it, it gives it kind of a glossy look. A little more modern, pop a little more. All right. All right, so start on the bottom. Go ahead, get your first corner piece in there. I'm a little worried about the rustic look. I feel like I got so lucky with the rock that they chose. And I wasn't expecting the brick at all. My wife and I were actually looking for rock just like that. I probably would have picked a different fireplace. I'll show you a picture that we both agreed on. I promise you, it's just like that. Coming up, James learns how to build a custom dining table. In less than an hour, we just built a table. Josh gets no love from Stephanie. Billy's our favorite. I love Billy. Oh, Billy, Billy, Billy. But James is digging having Josh around. We're still here for another day, Josh. There are things to be done, and you're a licensed contractor. It's the middle of day two at James and Stephanie's in Houston. Josh Temple and his crew are hard at work in their huge living room, creating a cohesive living and dining space. It's a lot of work, but uh, man, a lot of payoff too. Work continues on the four large ceiling panels. It's like having art on your ceiling, and I really like that. Poncho, you chewing gum? You chewing gum in class? Chicle? Chicle, I think so. What about me? Outside, Stephen and James start work on the custom maple dining table and benches. So first thing you notice is this is pretty thin plywood. It's three quarter inch plywood. Right. So to make the table look, appear a little bit thicker, we're gonna fasten these all around a perimeter. When we flip it back over, it'll appear like it's inch and a half thick instead of only three quarters thick. This is called edge banding. There's an adhesive on the backside. It's wood tape. 
whatever wood you're working with, you get it in the same species. And it's heat activated, so we're gonna use an iron. I grew up with this. There's iron-ons in the Super Mario Brothers, man. You don't see the raw edge, so now it looks like a solid piece of wood. Yes, it does. Next, they build the base. Pretty simple, huh? Yeah, we're building a box. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> that one's on film, right? I'm a licensed contractor, too. You're right. That's why you have the belt. <laughs> I came out to screw with you guys. I'm getting screwed with. In less than an hour, we just built a table. You got it. That's great. This is too easy, man. I should have had a whole furnished house by now. Inside, the faux finishers have arrived and are working hard. You like me? Yeah. <laughs> and Stephanie helps put a cap on the fireplace. And we're eyeballing this, right? We have one more piece and we get off this thing. Nail it, nail it! Oh, shoot! Uh. <laughs> the last ceiling panel finally gets finished. Woo! Hey! Your ceiling is done. Amazing, great. That really? took up a lot of time. Really? Look at me again. It's cool. <laughs> Look at me again. It's cool. You, but you keep looking away when you say it. <laughs> hey, Stephanie, what do you think of the ceiling? Awesome. You looked away again. You looked away again! <laughs> what do you think of the ceiling? You just looked away again. What do you think of the ceiling? I totally have your number. Liar! See, I knew it. Lies! I got you, Stephanie. Okay, end of day two. I'm sorry, you guys worked really hard, but you gotta suck it up, you gotta finish. Paint and stain, paint and stain, paint and stain. Lucas Craftsmanship. Wow. Stellar. <laughs> Let's go. Peace. Good night. I'm exhausted. Um, we were up all night. I only got three hours of sleep. Oh, wow. they, they did it. It's day three. You don't have a floor. You have nothing on this wall. You don't even have a door. Nothing in here is done. It's a lot of work today, OK? Why don't you guys bring in the floor right now? Oh. Oh, I like it. Look at that grain. Nice. It's well, perfect. Nice. Not, too, not too dark, not too light. Billy asked you a question. Do you love it? I love it. <laughs> I think she loves it, Josh. <laughs> That's an endorsement right there. We're all going to do it, OK? Let's go. Flat side first, flat side. We gotta spread glue. This is a glue down. It's a moisture barrier glue. There, there, you wanna, I wanna hear the scrape. Tongue and groove, right? Here's the groove, that's the tongue. If you have a damaged tongue, you're not gonna be able to get a tight fit on your board. Just like that, that could be a trouble spot right there. Yeah! Coming up, 500 square feet of new floor. I love laying floors with Josh Temple. Josh's big talk pays off. It's Houston, you go big or you go home, right? And another crash fulfills its mission. The wall is completely tricked, the ceiling's tricked. Finish the crash! James and Stephanie Dominguez met licensed contractor Josh Temple at the home improvement store. You decided to demo first, and now you're not going to build. Josh decided to help them out. Everything's going to get a lot better now. Thank you. Now it's the middle of day three of this house crash. And the entire crew is gluing down 500 square feet of new hardwood flooring. Someone's stinky. Right now, it doesn't seem like we're going to finish. Can you believe that we did this floor in slightly longer than Billy thought? Oh. <laughs> but it's not ending easy. Go, 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 